Hello and welcome to a new mod vlog and I kind of crashed out yesterday. <laughs> I got to work, did, day, did my day at work and then got home and then literally I was so tired after I ate something I went to sleep. This is pretty cool, I was just playing around, I couldn't find my iPhone but the good thing about Apple stuff I like is if you have like me an iPad and an iPhone uh, yeah there's a thing called lost mode so what you could do is play sound and then the phone so wherever the phone is you can go and find it because you know the old way you used to do it was um to stop the sound now you would have to call it but now I can make the sound work one thing I just tested uh, okay that's fine one thing I tested as well is this lost mode if it comes up on the app god the focus is very slow so you'd push this you would give it a phone number and then on this screen would show uh, this phone has been lost please call me etc so you idea would be you'd call the person up yada, yada, yada. once you get the phone back you just type in your passcode and whatnot and then you're back in the one cool thing I like as well um, is this I got this message and yeah, you're not going to be able to get my card details because, yeah, security. It actually suspends your iPhone for you, which you, which you want it to do, and your Apple Pay gets turned off. So you're pretty well protected, and now like, I'm getting the flood of you. I got an email from them, I'm getting floods of your emails on here, and everything is pretty well protected, so I'm just typing in my password. Do, 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 do. And then my phone is well and truly set up hmm. yeah pretty cool I do like it I really think it's quite neat so yeah I, it's nice to know that I mean, we were talking about iPhones the other day about updates of software with Apple and whatnot and we were talking about the ins and outs of how updates are stupid and whatnot how they work um, Android's stupid and whatnot um, and all these random things but it's, it's you know I'm really happy that I converted all the way to Apple and stuff like that it just really it's really nice just to know that everything just works i don't care about flashy operating systems and whatnot as long as i could do the few things i need i use my iphone for the studio so when i'm on the but i can kind of read what's going on in my youtube stuff uh i've got my whatsapp i've got my messages and just little things my fitbit updates through that it's perfect you know and i'm just sticking with apple all the way but the one thing I also watched today, on another subject, is stuff like this, tech support scamming. Um, I watched a couple of videos, I saw one I thought, yeah, this is actually quite interesting to have a look. And it's crazy how the first the first one was kind of like dumb, he was really like, I think he was just like new to it or he wasn't really clever. Because they follow scripts when they do these things, basically it's like... You go to certain websites, you get a weird link, it's like, your computer's got problems, please call this number. So they go through all these weird things to show you, like, to someone who's IT savvy, you'll know what some of these things do, like event viewer and so forth. And you see how it develops through to, here's all the things we could do for you, and eventually, you know, they want to get your payment details. And the second one was pretty crazy, she was so quick, and how quick they talk to you to try and, Bambuzi, because the idea is if you flood, if someone, someone sounds like they know what they're talking about and they're flooding it out at you, you kind of accept it. And then you kind of see, like, they tell you, like, oh, well, these are the three prices we have. And it's scary because, as well as the speed, you also then are told, like, I need your name, your email address, your address. And then they tell you as well, uh, the two choices are for payment for this is online bank transfer or check. And the whole idea is, you don't want to do a check because it's going to take time to process a check. You don't really want to be waiting for a check. And so you're most likely doing a transfer. I suppose you could send a check or whatnot. But then it's like they want you to give you them the, give them your bank details. So yeah, it's kind of crazy how quick it happens. We know it's out there. It's all out there. But it's pretty interesting to actually watch them and see them in action. It's just... At the end of the day, I would always say to someone who's new to computers... If you have a problem, find, speak with someone in the family, get someone who has a kid or, you know, someone who's younger who's more tech savvy and 
you know, just get them to fix it for you. Don't trust these things. Obviously, they're a scam. If someone could conveniently say, like, and go through a script and say, like, yeah, we can fix this for you, they can't. They're just talking trash. So it's quite funny when you see them panicking and deleting all the files because they can see a scam. It's like, seriously, dude, come on. Jesus Christ, it's crazy. Thinking about going to the gym, I'm just. Now I said it in the vlog, I should go. <laughs> if I don't, I'm um, stupid. Started quickly working on my YouTube stuff, got into that, and then started watching a bit of a fully hack video. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I just kind of get interested in seeing this kind of things going on. I know I won't do it, but it's always. I guess I just got to the point in my life where I kind of enjoy seeing how things happen and what goes on in life and whatnot. And <laughs> distractions is awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. I should still go though. I should still go. Didn't quite make it to the gym, but I thought, why am I going for a run instead? And yeah, <coughs> did 5.6 miles. And winded myself already, so it's going to be a long ride home. But I enjoyed it. It's actually nice having a ride, and I can just stop and just not worry about having to get anywhere afterwards. I probably <coughs> yeah, it's a good time of breath. I feel good. I think apart from the whole dying bullshit, not too bad. So ride another the six mile ride, 25 minutes and 42 minutes seconds even. So that weren't too bad. <coughs> average of 13 miles an hour. My heart rate's about 160 average. So stuffy in the bed now. My chest feels like it's just been winded, but not really bad. I could have slapped the chest really hard. <coughs> but whatever. Just gonna chill and see what happens for the rest of it. <sighs> Finally relaxed a bit, met a friend of mine who actually works here. This is the International Convention Centre in Birmingham. It actually backs onto the canal. I was going to try and share it. It's quite massive. As you can see, it's some quite big part of the city. I can't even tell how well that looks. It's quite tall. And then it backs onto the canal. So these are pretty much one reason Birmingham's famous. They've got more canals than Venice. And it's actually quite chill, nice and relaxed. <clears throat> it's actually nice actually being here and just knowing there's an atmosphere rather than just being stuck on the PC all day. I'm actually going to go back and do a lot of stream. And I was kind of your head of cake from my friend. She makes she made some nice cakes. <laughs> so I kind of undone some of the work I've done, but I'll, I'll fix that. I'll ride a bit more on the ride on the way home. But yeah, really quite peaceful and nice to know that. There's no pressure. It's kind of nice having a job where it's all crazy go, go, go all the time. And then when you do break up, you feel like you have just literally shut off and shut down for a week, a day, two days, two weeks, a week, month. Well, not a month, you must be sick to do that, but yeah, pretty good. I can't believe I'm doing this so steady, to be honest. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> I wouldn't be a great photographer. Maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't, I don't know. But well, this is Sherbourne Wharf, Wharf, and it's part of the canals and Brindley Place. And it's a pretty nice place to come. Broad Street is kind of up that way. If you get Broad Street, like the main strip area. And then coming along here, you've got these canal barges, and they actually do tours. You could actually pay, I'm not sure how much it is, but I'll just zoom in real quick. I zoom in, so if you ever are in Birmingham, give them a look. But pretty neat. As you can see, pretty busy, and it's actually quite cool that the weather's turned out in my favour. Yeah, um, sorry for the really bad handling. <clears throat> Surprised I could do so smooth, but then again, this camera is really good at doing it. But these are really worth doing to give you a bit of history about how long these canals are, what they used to do. It kind of goes further down that way. Really busy, but it is Saturday. So it goes all the way down there, which branches off into different places. And then if you come to the right, you've got the, it used to be the NIA National Indoor Arena, but it's now called the Barker Card Arena. So if we go in, it's a really big arena. I'll try and show you, it does all kind of concerts and gigs or whatever, pretty well known. But yeah, that's a bit of the canals for you. Yay for copyright, but I don't think I really care. So that's the <coughs> Park the Card Arena, 
and then you've got the seal off sensor here. I went there years ago, but I don't know what it's like today, but it's supposed to be good, it's supposed to be quite good. It kind of branches off here at the end and then goes around. So I'm probably going to do another little ride around here. <coughs> Didn't mean to cough, sorry. Uh, I apologize for the darn this thing. Makes a change to actually be out and about. I think most weekends I just don't want to do anything because you end up just being too worn out and spending most of the time to recover but when you've got all the time in the world and again this is kind of why I wanted to do YouTube it gives you the freedom to be your own boss or what might get hectic and more equal beat when you get more famous just like any job when you get more responsibilities and more things going on to focus on it kind of has to slow down but you know it's just nice to actually just chill out and enjoy note to self next year look at the cure leukemia there's, there's a that fundraising event done in Birmingham in Brindley Place. It's basically boats. Um, I'm not sure what they call them, dinghy racing, I think it is. But yeah, sounded like it's a core cool charity. I didn't realize they did that, so it's good to actually keep involved with these things that are going on, try and remember for them for next year. That would actually be a pretty cool thing to look at, I think, maybe. Now, I know Now I know this isn't the best scene because of graffiti. No one loves graffiti, but if you think I've come pretty much a mile and a half, well not even a mile and a half, half a mile and it's so peaceful like this and you can just ride along and do whatever and just enjoy it's beautiful I'm not going to get run over by a cyclist no, so it just shows Benning was a nice place sometimes it really is so I'm probably going to ride home now and just chill because I like doing these things but I'm just lazy now I kind of want to just get back, put the stream on, do some streaming and then get rid of my bike because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing whoops yeah but it is just just you know riding off and being someone like that and just going wherever I don't even know where I'm going but luckily the canals only go so far so you just ride you just turn back when you feel you've had enough and it's easy you know you've got a sat nav and you've got your phone and all GPS stuff and all that kind of stuff so you don't really have to worry too much as long as you've got the battery to uh, do what you need to do to get yourself back safely so yeah hope you enjoy this little vlog I know it's pretty pretty um different but I thought it would be nice to actually be a tour guide for a change rather than be someone who's looking for tour guides and got there's wasps everywhere can you see that you probably can't god Attenborough eat your heart out I've lost the bloody thing now it's gone it's gone let me just zoom back in I'm not the expert at technology, so thanks for watching this mod vlog guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, please I like these videos more than most vlogs sometimes because it kind of gives you, it gives me a chance to express my creativity and uh, yeah, if I can share these out and you know, if anyone think might find these videos beneficial if they ever are, just let me know so thanks for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys again next time, have a great day